Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of A Lawyer Plays The Long Dark with me, Ryan the Gaming Lawyer. If you recall in the last episode, we were uh, we spent the entire episode at a church uh, trying to heal up. We were almost dead. With a pre Leading up to that episode, we'd just gotten to this church. We were freezing. We were, we'd been bitten by wolves. We were starving. All the bad stuff, basically. Or almost starved. Anything. We were in bad shape. And so we've kind of... Uh, managed to nurse ourselves back. You can see on the bottom left, uh, our injuries are okay. The heart is full. The actual health meter is up to probably about 75% or so, which is before it was down to looked like about 6%. And all of our vitals are in pretty reasonable shape. Um, the plan was, let's see right now, it looks like we're an hour or two away from sunset. Uh, the plan now was there were a couple of deer carcasses outside. Uh, and a wolf looking over it. So it was maybe to scare the wolf away and collect more deer meat and maybe look around a little bit too since we got some, uh, we've got some warmth to spend before we get cold outside. Uh, maybe spend some time looking for sticks because we're running really low on sticks and we can't carve up those deers without fire. We're, we're at a point now where We've got eight sticks, which is not, I think that's a, a little less than an hour's worth of uh, fire we can get out of that. And we don't have an ax yet, so we can't break stuff down for more wood. So it, that's making me think that uh, either I've missed something on the way here, or uh, this is, we can't really hunker down here too much because we're gonna run out of firewood. But uh, let's get, let me see, where's the, uh, we have a torch. Ooh, that torch is not in the best shape. Okay. 22%. It's still going to serve our functions, but it's going to run out pretty soon. And hopefully we can scare this wolf away with this. It would be nice if there weren't dead deer carcasses. Yeah, bitch. That's right. All right, put that away. Turn it off. Oh, I thought there... I thought I looked out and saw two deer carcasses, but I guess it was still just the one. Let me see. Yep. I hear him running around, but I think that he's still in scared mode. It doesn't have a ton of stuff on it, so maybe that's not even worth it uh, to build another fire out here in order to... Uh, to be able to skin that without the wolf coming after us. Does the wolf just run, just run all the way away? Oh, look at this! Hey, he's got eight. Oh, wolf meat is just as good as any other meat. Fortunately, we do still. Is there ever anything in the actual hoods? I know you can open them. Uh. So that wolf might be worth carving up if we get a chance. But right now. What I'd really like is to find some, is to find an axe. I'm not expecting to. Now, obviously, the, it looks like there's a lot of uh, logs being collected here, so this was a logging area. But uh, this doesn't look like this is an area where people hung out and kept their supplies. So we're just doing... All right, it's not super cold, so we can afford... need a pry bar. That would be nice, too. So many things that I'm used to having when I've played this game in the uh, sandbox mode. And you don't start out with any of that stuff, but if you get past the initial period of, of not dying right away and getting sort of yourself in a sustainable situation, you end up getting a lot of tools and resources. Uh, obviously, we're not there yet. We don't... Like, having... Especially an axe is... Super fundamental. Now, what's troubling a little bit is I'm not seeing sticks. Maybe I need to get closer to actual trees with, uh... Trees with branches and things that could fall down. Open trunk. That's not happening. I'm, I keep getting into the backs as well just to see. I don't know if they might end up having, uh... Stuff laying around on the back seat on the ground, or... I found the candy bar up on a dashboard once. 
So, I think I found some stuff on the floor in the passenger seat as well. Now, this is the type of place where pallets, is where an axe would come in real handy. And sun is getting low. There's a temptation to just, for me right now, to just continue uh, down the road until we find something else. But I don't want to leave... Oh, here's some sticks. I don't want to leave this area uh, right as the sun's about to go down. Because then it's going to get really cold. Good, we're catching... So this is what we'll do. We're just going to... We're just going to collect some sticks. Since, uh... I probably should have just done this to begin with. Because... And sticks, I believe, are... Are sort of considered renewable. So... They are something that, as you come out... Over... You pick them all up, but... Over the course of days, you come out and check and there will be more. So I guess they're... Constantly kind of dropping out of the trees. We're probably going to have to contend with that wolf again once we get closer to the church. I don't see it by that deer, but I know it's still running around somewhere out there. And I think there was also a wolf out over the lake somewhere, so we maybe don't want to... We just have to be cautious, that's all. I was going to say maybe we don't want to poke our head over the hill, but... We're close enough to the church now that I think if we spotted a wolf, we could get back. We could get back all right. I'm, I'm, I'm totally paranoid right now about running into the wolf. So the wildlife in this game is no joke. At least the wolves you can fight off. But I know I've had games where, like bears, I don't even know what you're supposed to do with bears. If you can kill them or what. Let's see what's going on here. But, uh, it seemed like anything I ever did to fight off a bear, all it ever did was piss it off. Oh, some rose hips. We got 80 of these things. I'm starting to think maybe we don't need any more of those. I was hoping, since we we're around trees, that we might find some more sticks over here. How are we doing on, uh, 26? It's not awesome. Because now that we found that deer, or, or the wolf carcass over by that truck, if we could collect enough wood to get a decent fire going... Shit. Okay, there's a wolf down the road there. If we get a fire going, uh, there's a lot more meat we could carve off of that wolf. Though so I'm not optimistic... that I can do it without a fire. Maybe we get a little bit off that thing. We can, well, the raw meat draws the wolves even faster, so you want to be able to cook it at the same time that you, uh... The same, you don't want to run around with raw meat too long. That's all I'm saying. Now, if we had an axe, I'm seeing some larger limbs that we could break into some decent firewood, but without an axe... Yeah, I'm thinking, let's mess around with the wolf a little bit and if worse comes to worst we can just leave the, the meat out if we get so oh crow feathers wasn't even looking there. usually you find more than one when they're circling something like that all right well let's let's see how much meat we can get in let's say 40 eh, let's say half hour we get a couple pounds of meat Oh, our, our coldo meter's not going down too badly. All right, let's try this. We might be able to get all this meat without... I mean, we're getting cold, but I don't think we're going to die. Hypothermia risk. All right, I think we're cutting it by the skin of our teeth, but I think die we're good. Don't warm up soon. We're only at hypothermia risk. Yep, and it's gotten really chilly. Hey, dear, you should be more like the wolves and have more meat. I forget if wolves actually eat other dead wolves in this game. Uh... 
Oh, I was gonna drop off. Since I'm not planning on cooking the meat right now, I was just gonna drop it off outside so it stays frozen. Just a second. I'm not gonna hang around out here and freeze to death. Just shit, there's the wolf. Food, food, food. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop, 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 drop. Okay, get back in, get in, get in, get in. Oh my gosh. Whew. That, yeah, having that wolf right outside the door, maybe it would have been a wolf or worth taking the meat off that deer. Just because it seems like it really attracts that wolf. Uh, let's see, let's, I think we still got some, we still got some meat. Let's eat the little one. And this should actually just about fill us up. Yep, just about perfect there. And drink the water. We still got a reasonable amount of water. It looks like the cold hurt us. I noticed our health meter's gone down. That's from the, uh... Let me see, where's... That was from getting too cold out there, carving up that wolf. Nope, I just want... I know the bed, now that we've gotten familiar with the layout here a little bit. Metal pail? No. Cardboard box? There, bed. I think we should be good to not freeze. Let's just... It's not going to let us sleep for 12 hours, but let's try it. Okay, so even though it said it feels like 30 degrees, I was afraid that meant... I guess once you're in a sleeping bag, it helps you warm up. Whoa! No, we're in bad shape. But we did heal up. Uh, gosh, okay, we're gonna have to make a fire and warm up, so I'm thinking as long as we have to make a fire, we might as well do it out here. Let's get that, should have got that torch ready. Because I'm sure the damn wolf is gonna still be out. Oh, get inside. Okay, get the damn torch ready first. We're gonna need to get a new torch, too. Let me see, how much is the torch down to 19%? Alright, it's alright. We only used 3% of it last time. I guess if you don't run around with it on, it'll, it can last for a little while. Uh-oh. Okay, the game seemed to freeze for a second. I was afraid we may have, uh, we may have crashed. But we just got out of bed, so... Those create save points. Hey, wolf. You daffy son of a bitch. There you go. There, how you like them apples? Alright. So yeah, as long as we're, uh... As long as we're... Making fire... Might as well make a fire here. And, uh... Hopefully it'll be warm enough that we can A, carve, get the meat out of that deer. So maybe the wolves, that wolf won't have an incentive to be here every time we poke our head out of the church. Feels like sandpaper. It kind of sucks that every time we want to leave the church, we've got to screw around with a torch, which has, so far has worked, but there's no guarantees on a torch, as we've seen earlier. Sometimes it just laughs. It. Like, oh, okay, Adam. Adding fuel, let's get it up to an hour, shall we? Actually, let's just get it up until it's, the heat output is at its peak. Okay, good. Oh, and we're good on... Oh, we need water is what we're low on. Crap. For some reason, when I saw that, I thought it was a temperature issue. Let's put this away. Oh, is that... Is that thing dead? It is, okay. Can we, uh, can we use it? Throw it on the fire? It's ruined, so we can't use it for anything. Uh, okay, let's get that meat off of there. And... Would it be going for the guts and stuff, too? How much is fire is left? An hour and 32 minutes. 40 minutes. Let's get the guts off of there. 30 minutes. Oh, we have all that wolf meat to cook, too. So, we might as well... Crap. 
This is gonna be the, like the end of our. We're getting really close to the end of our. This could be a, a really bad use of our time, or our resources rather. But I feel like we clean this this thing out of its resources, and uh, it might be a better idea to make things safe out here. How are we doing on uh, weight? We got 42 pounds. Okay, we can pick all this stuff up. What do we calculate? That it was about 20 minutes per big chunk of meat? Grab this. We got, uh, so we can cook three chunks of meat right now. Oh, it's moldy. It's alright. Once we cook it, it'll be fine. <laughs> Although I'm surprised it's moldy, because... Oh, no, we're at a campfire. See, I can hear it coming and, and then running away because it's afraid. Yeah, I'm surprised the meat was moldy because that wolf was laying out, and it's never been anything less than horrifyingly... Uh, All right, this should be good for... Damn, we're down to four sticks. This should be good for uh, maybe the rest of the meat. We're going to need to uh, probably make more water soon, too. Let's see. And I guess it's looking like we're maybe aiming for tomorrow to leave. Although it's midday now, we might actually... Sometimes you can't even really do anything until midday because it's too cold in the first half of the day coming out at night. Alright. That's where we're gonna... We want to put a little extra because we're gonna cook this, and then we want to take a torch out of this so we can continue our proud tradition. In fact, let's add still a little more to make sure that we got it. Yeah, we just... Screw it. That's all of our... <laughs> now we'll take a torch and let's extinguish... Extinguish the torch. Put it out. Put it away. Uh, get inside and collect my... Actually, why should I go inside? There's really nothing in there, is there? Collect my thoughts here. What is this? Maybe it's time to just go. We got some... We got some... Uh, got all of our stuff. There's nothing else inside. Let's just get out of here. Where's that wolf? Yeah, let's just keep going down the road at this point. We're... Oh! Let's... While we got some flame left, let's hang out by it while we eat. There's an idea. Uh... Wait, how are we doing? Wasn't paying too... I wasn't paying enough attention to how my stomach meter was doing. Alright, that looks about good. Oh, we are really low on water. It's okay. We'll keep going. Uh, they, I have zero gallons, but there's 0 .02 pounds. Okay. So, well, we're in good shape. I forget. Did I have extra clothes that I'm not wearing yet? I know... Okay, I just wanted to double check. Because I knew there was stuff I had initially that was, uh, that was too cold. It was too cold. All right. Oops. Let us continue. Had to stop there for a second. The, the lady wife just came home. I'm recording this. I just found a little pocket of time today where I finished. I work from home and I pick up work. I, I work full time, but uh, I finished whatever work I have on hand and I pick up more. And I'm at a point where I finished the work on hand and I'm going to pick up more tonight. There will be more ready for me. And, uh, and I found myself with a few hours off. I finished my work about an hour ago. So I thought this would be a good time to, uh, to record. It's sometimes, uh, I can't record and be talking into a microphone all the time. There are plenty of times in my real life where 
you know, my wife is home and we're spending time together or, you know, just in general, I'll be playing games and we'll be in the same room together and sort of chatting and stuff. And I don't want her to feel like if I'm recording, like she can't, uh, she can't talk to me. So there are plenty of times when I can play games, but I can't record. I'm seeing buildings up ahead. So probably I'm going to wrap up this episode. Uh... Probably gonna end my little recording sessions for the Hello? day, but ooh! Anyone out there? That voice is really low. Discover the town of Milton. Well, this definitely seems like Soul a thing. It looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Maybe my own volume is turned down. Do I hear animal footsteps? Those, okay, please, those, they gotta be deer. The rabbit's running around. Okay, before... Smoke from the chimney. Someone's home. Okay. We're gonna go straight there. I was gonna say, before I go exploring everything else, it feels like we are uh, at a, a significant uh, point here. Oh, what's this? firewood bin. Red, does that mean it's stealing? That's the first time I've seen that. They don't have the concept of other people's possessions in the main game. <laughs> or in the uh, sandbox, I should say. This is probably going to be regarded as the main game, but the sandbox is always... Anybody here? Alright. Oh. Holy sh... Wait! Hold your fire! Come closer, stranger. Whoa. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Mainlander? Uh, what? Ha! <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the other cowards, so... Must be a Mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. My plane. I... I crash in the mountains nearby. <laughs> Sounds likely. Listen, could you maybe point that gun somewhere else? You think because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Oh, Make deep. the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. Others are all gone. If you are here, things must be worse than they thought. Hold on one second here. I'm suddenly aware of a possible sound issue. <laughs> I hope it's not. Uh, let me see. Properties. Shia. Ah, uh, why? Okay. Sometimes, for no reason that I can discern. Oh no, that's that's not it. Okay, what about this one? We good? Well, no, we're good. Okay. Sometimes the microphone I use for recording, I have it set at about seventy-five percent digitally. Uh, sometimes it resets itself to a hundred without asking, so I just saw the sound meter seemed to be a little bit too sensitive And I was afraid that had in fact happened All right, uh We'll let's start with who are you? Uh, what's happening here? You my name is Mackenzie and you are is it not voice acted? Uh, liars call me gray mother. Okay. I screwed this up because I Trust that many people may be suspicious of you. Most of them have needs they may not be able to fulfill without your help. Helping them will earn you trust, which in turn will unlock useful knowledge, locations, items, and more. Check the character's trust entry in your journal to learn more about them, their needs, and how they can help you. Okay, I'm hoping I didn't screw up the audio. I, um, I had to minimize out for a while and stop the recording, but, uh, anyways, hopefully it's 
back and try. I thought I heard a snippet of voice right before this came up, so. New location discovered. Milton House. All right, can we get your, uh, about trust? What would you like to talk about? Okay, I feel like... I feel like I may have messed up... Audio. So... Eh. Alright, we're a little bit... We're a little bit short. Is there a bed I can rest at? Okay. This is probably a good time to break the episode. Because what I'm going to end up doing... I think I'm going to have to leave... Like, ex exit the game and re-enter it. Because I have a feeling I screwed something up. Because, uh, I... This game, you can't save when you want to. So, when we were in the middle of that dialogue, stuff happened here. That I had to, you know, help out and do stuff. So I had to leave and, for a while, and it looks like something's gotten screwed up. So, uh, now that we found a bed, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... time is it? Hey, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna sleep for an hour. And that will save the game. And we will call that an episode for now. So I'd like to thank everybody for joining me once again. And Aloya plays The Long Dark with me, Ryan, the Gaming Lawyer. And until next time, I hope everybody is doing well and take care. Bye-bye.